Hey guys, it's Laura here with Little Lights by Laura, and I wanted to show you two of my most utilized tools or features with the silhouette. I get asked this question so often, and I thought I would just show you guys um, what I do. So I'm just going to um, type this out and show you what I mean. So, first of all, I'm going to copy this and paste it again. All right, and let me zoom in. So, first thing that I want to show you guys is when you are using a curly font that has layovers, and I'm going to show you this without coloring in my letters. And the reason why is because if I color this in, you won't be able to see. This is going to look like this is going to cut perfectly but it's not because everywhere you see this hang over it's going to make those individual cuts all right i'm going to zoom in this little loop or square i should say of the t is going to cut into this t and if you're doing something with vinyl you're not going to like how that looks or paper for that matter you're going to see all those nuances so with any font that you're using um a really popular one is Magnolia Sky, and this is one that I use frequently as well. All of these inlays that you see the L coming into the I, those are all going to cut out independently, unless you do probably one of my most utilized things, which is the weld tool. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close this out so you can see, and I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to ungroup them. Now from here, because I want to show you something else with this down here, I'm going to zoom back out a little bit and I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to weld it. Now all of those little layovers are now one. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to choose make a compound path and I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to show you the difference. This no longer cuts in, they go together, just like you see here, okay? So the other thing that I use most frequently as well, I'm going to show you on this one. Also, I will say before I go on here, um, I'll just color this in so that we know that is done. Okay, so down here, if I select all of these, I'm going to go ahead and weld this again. And I'm going to make it a compound path again. And the reason why I made that a compound path is because I'll go back one. You see how the dots of the eyes are disconnected. If I were to move this, I would just prefer that it moved together. So I'm making that a compound path so it stays together. Okay, so I just showed you how to weld both of these. The other feature that I use all the time is the offset tool. And I'm going to just click on this here. And you're going to see it's going to make my letters more full or bubbly. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take this down to 0 0.008. And I know that seems so, so small, but I'm going to apply. And then I'm going to remove this. Now, what you are going to see the difference is, I'll zoom in. The biggest difference you're going to see is in this line here. I'm going to put them close. See how this is now thicker than this? If you are stenciling and using your vinyl to stencil, you will be so glad that you met the offset tool because it just gives you a little bit of a thicker line here versus here to have that um, vinyl grab onto your wood. Especially if you are using an Oracle 651, which is a permanent vinyl, you definitely want to be using offset because let's say you were doing a cute monogrammed cup with this font. These lines are so thin that over time the vinyl is going to be far more likely to peel off because it's much thinner than what you see up here. So the offset tool is your best friend. All right. Now. Another fun thing that you can do with the offset tool is I'm going to click back on this and I'm going to choose offset and I'm going to leave it at its largest and I'm going to hit apply. Now this is something fun that you can do for if you want to place a color behind a color. What I mean by that is this. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to grab onto the back 
side of this and I'm going to color this blue and then I'm going to move this away all right and I'm going to make this a compound path and then I'm going to click on my little lights and I'm going to color this white and I'm going to move it back into place and now I get kind of a multi dimensional look obviously I can change my line color to white as well but this way if you were going to cut and layer vinyl you could do it this way if you don't feel comfortable in your alignment tactics then you can use um, a trick that I've shown you guys in another video which I'm happy to show you again really quick it's super simple I come over here to the square tool and I just make a little rectangle or square whatever and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to color one square white and one square blue and then I will stack them on top of each other you can select both of them you can go to your alignment tool and then you can center them all right and then what I would do when I go to send them to my um, to my machine I can choose if I want to cut by layer which you can do or you can choose to cut by fill so what I would do first is I would select to just cut everything that is white and that will then cut out my little lights by Lara in white and my white square and then I would enter I would put my blue vinyl down on my cutting mat and I would come here and I would just select blue and now you see it's going to cut out my blue rect or square I keep calling it a rectangle and my blue behind and then what I would do once I have it all cut out and weeded then I would layer it on top using my contact paper and I would stack up my squares on top of each other and that would assure that my little lights layering goes together all right i hope you guys found this video helpful um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my page and as always let me know in the comments if there is something that you are struggling with with your silhouette and i am happy to show you how to do it